Prison. What a great conversation we're having about the church going forward in the code of conduct. Archbishop Jackson Olisa Pete is in the house. Right next to him is Reverend Dr. Nelson Makandi. Uh, right next to him is Father Joseph Mutier. And the lady in the house, the legal mind, Bernice Koshego in the house. Uh, Father, I was talking before the break. I was saying, did we forget God at some point? No. Um I don't say, no may not be an answer, but in a way, we have assumed to be small gods. Um, and allow me to kind of give a scenario. When, like for example, uh, Dr. Nelson Makanda comes into the church with this, you know, um, you know, followers and palms and, you know, he's assumed to be a small god. And so what you talk about him about yourself. Ah, okay. <laughs> He's <laughs> a pop himself. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever he says yes. is the truth. Yeah. And no one is supposed to contradict uh, the reverend. Yes. Because of, of obvious people believe that what he says is the final mm -hmm. because he is the representative of God. So there is a lot of fear to the mm -hmm. church leadership. And that, you know, that fear that has been instilled into the congregants makes them, you know, so vulnerable. They cannot question, they cannot act, they mm. cannot do anything. Mm. And you see, who surrounds Reverend? The bouncers, mm. the strong people. Mm. He creates a wall, a buffer, you know, beside him that you cannot reach him. Then the other thing is that when you go against the reverend, something is going to happen. Like, you know, they believe in the curses. You know, I'm going to be cursed. My family is going to be cursed. My business is going to be cursed. So we have given, and I, I, I respect the, the leadership of the church. I respect people in position, but there are those limits. You know, we have to gauge where, where is this person taking us so that we don't just go with our hands and feet into something that we don't know. So it's important that, uh, you know, and I believe the opposite of fear is faith. Mm. So when we are dealing with each other, we are talking matters faith. And let's try to remove this fear from the congregants that we make them, you know, easy, easy to access us and easy even to question, easy to understand where we are coming from. The incidents where, you know, the pastor tells the congregants to carry him for a whole month yeah. until they get to buy him a car is quite unfortunate. Mm. Because what has he done? He has like hypnotized the congregants. Yeah. They are fearful. They don't know what would happen because again, this is a man of God. The man of God has spoken. You know, there, there's need to have some limits into what we do yeah. in our place. It's extreme. Or, extreme. It's extremism. Very. Uh, Reverend Doctor, uh, I asked you before the break, where do we go from here?